And now you're Friday. This is a better sweet, my blood sweet. Just say, me who you mean? Can dynamic what Friday? Everybody shouts already. Yes, Lord. <laughs> dynamic word Friday. <laughs> no, nation prophet has spoken. <laughs> it's a Friday. No, nation's prophet has spoken. Who am I? <laughs> Who am I to say today is not a fantastic Friday? Dynamic word Friday. And oh, I'm actually very delighted uh, that 25th June fell on Friday. That only means that I get to share my birthday together with you on Backpage here on City TV, right? I'm very, 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 very happy to do this, Shelly. Now, one question that um, I keep seeing in my inbox is um, if I'm really okay after all that or I'm just keeping a flawless public facade only to go home <laughs> and cry, right? I will attempt to uh, respond to that very uh, question a bit later, right? No, but the important thing is that today is Friday and it's the day of back page and it's also my birthday and God has been good, right? And it's, you know, <laughs> I have a song request. DJ, DJ, why are you? <laughs> I love this so much. I really, really do. Especially the second song, you know. And now we are there. Ankala wu. Hey, Ankala wu. Ankala wu kra. Guys, welcome to the show. This is Backpage on CCTV. My name is Caleb Kuda. It's always a joy coming your way with this one. Welcome to the show again, my friends. So the question really is, are you sure you're okay or you're putting up a flawless public facade only to go home and cry? Actually, I thought I was okay, you know. Uh, then one day, I was in a corner helping myself with a bowl of fufu, yeah? Then I got a call. Eh, his, this is a CMSC or Bentin. He's part of the enumerators. They are supposed to be paid Y, but they, are, they hear they will be paid X. Now, nah, what is a me a journalist? So I should go and investigate it. At once, the taste of the food changed for me. At once. I was so upset. I told him, told him my mind. I mean, if, if they beat me, then you now will go on social media and go and insult me. Oh, bora mami. Oh, bora mami. Papa, papa. Eh, crazy. Me see, oh, bora mami. I want me cut it corn. Me cut it line. I'm a mavu mavu. In fact, I couldn't eat the fufu again. And I left. You know, but on my way home, I felt very embarrassed. I, I felt bad. You see, because, I mean, even if what the person was agitated about wasn't valid, I shouldn't have spoken to him the way I did. Besides, um, and in fact, those who insulted me and keep doing so on social media, and I'm not, even to, I'm not talking about those who criticize me. It's one thing criticizing is another insulting, right? I mean, those who do insult me, very frankly, are just a few idle brethren, you know, whose interests I can say I risked to push, right? So I called the guy back and I said, yo, I'm very sorry about whatever, whatever. And I told him A, B, C, D. I'm glad the statistician said that they are, all, everything is in place and all that sorted. So like, um, uh, <laughs> Alaski will say, you know, it is a ministry, you understand? And sometimes the ministry comes with a tribulation, yeah, man. So since that day, I have learned that uh, if you can build to last, you must uh, focus. So no, guys, I'm very okay. For those of you who are interested to know, I am very, very okay. Now, I have something to dedicate to Kweku Chains, right? It's something special but short. And I want to dedicate it to Kweku Chains because he, you know, he's a living legend. The letter, show them. 
Living legends. The bit of your bay here for. Ha! I'm Rodney Yankupo. Hey! Living legends. Obini Mom reports as a future president of Yatofom. Sana Kwame Grumani, Gotemusa, Ochemu. Every one minute be an authority. The system is working. Then you. Hey, Rodney. I said, I'm down, Gotta. Leave it like this. Now, me back to the Republic. <laughs> oh my God. No, but that drain runs through the Kali Clote, right? Leave it like this. This is for you. And um, rains in recent times have broken the concrete slabs on the edge. I'm sure you saw that. Sometimes it, it, it has actually literally pulled down homes along the banks. Squatters openly defecating the, the drains, right? And you saw the kids. They walked through the dirty water, which is a fine mixture of turrets and all kinds of things. And they went to go and do what? Of course, to go and do freedom of biological expression. <laughs> okay, as an is this is your consequence, you understand? <laughs> what kind of future are we giving these children? What kind of future are we giving them if they continue to do the, if you people continue to do the BB talking but fail to fish the small small things? Or oh, I should go away. I should go away. This is Nami Bachelor, the public. Yeah? So I should go away. Yeah, okay. Agree as another. You and Bantama Kwesi Bwachia Senso. And Grandma Cecilia Amunanapa, these nephews of mine need your attention. Otherwise, this is all they are going to be socialized to do. And I'm going to say they should face themselves. <laughs> they should face themselves, eh? <laughs> they are living legends, eh? Or <laughs> look, face yourself. That's all. Or oh, some of you have objection, eh? It is not the drivers of, 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 of lorries and tanks who have brought pains to Nigerian people. No! Rather, it is, it is because of the failure of government. Bini or Lagos Road today is in a state of calamity. So, if the road is in a state of anomie, if driving through the roads is engaging in the macabre dance, culpability is that of government. It will be sardonic, it will be lugubrious, and it will be a state of dismal pisma if Parliament does not rise this morning to fix culpability where culpability is. Ah, uh, ah, uh, honorable, please, oh, please, now. Make no talk like this, I de beg. Make no no talk like that now. Nah. As you see me so, so trouble I de fear for my life. You understand? But guys, importantly, importantly, the Greater Accra Regional Minister agrees we need leadership and he is bent on showing the way, but we also need to lend some support. I don't know about other regions, but in Greater Accra, if you are confirmed as an MC, I want to go and kneel down and beg, Mr. President. Six months, six months. Call two years of Ashwebo. Are you listening? MCE, we expect you to work hard. Don't sit in office and do capacity building. Go to the field, job day ground, and get your assembly members to join you. We will do. We will write. We will try and get an appraisal to the local government minister every six months. And if we think that you are not doing well, this one is not concern. I will tell you straight in the face that I cannot work with you. I am going to report to Nacha Kibu, know what they know. No, tell it, tell it, tell it, tell it, this man. <laughs> He's the Alajo Goliath. <laughs> I'm a tech, yo. <laughs> I'm failure. you. In fact, or, honorable. Uh, uh, uh. Alajo Goliath, he deserves some accolades. You should give him some accolades for me. <laughs> And to invite to the podium the Osho Baba of our time, the Osho Quake, Osho Akbudulwevi, Osho Adolo, Oshi Semua, the Otokinadu, the man who has uh, odolorized 
the political cinematography of Edo State. I know you will recall that when the current governor was saddled with power, Edo State was in a state of political dystopia. Edo State was in a state of economic Sirocco. Edo State was in a state of infrastructural catatonia. Government was in perpetual vacation. People thought that government cannot work again in Edo State. But by a rare combination of political and economic resurgimento, Bashir Akemi, the current governor, has transmogrified Edo State. Let me say to you, the current governor, that I have the imprimatur of a dope people to declare you a political avatar, to declare you a political Nanli Matangere, to declare you a political Colossus, and to declare you a political Paracelsus. Thank you. That's the greater Accra Colossus, <laughs> the political avatar, Elijah Goliath. You do all. No, you spot there. <laughs> no. Did I say Elijah Goliath? No, as I call you Goliath, you know, it doesn't mean the onion sellers will be your David. <laughs> God forbid, you know. you'll be called Goliath, you understand? And people in other regions are praying for your type, you understand? And everyone is praying for you, you understand? Even your critics, trust me, they are praying for you. By the way, guys, I have a question for you, right? And this is for just the guys, guys only. I know you and I, we don't like Buffy, but tell me, do you have water? I mean, are your tabs flowing? And I hear called Hebrews. Me see, I am suffering in Babylon. Babylon, it's your bow. The painful part is that uh, the water bill, the water bill, it keeps increasing, increasing, increasing. That is when you get to enjoy water the least. That's when it increases the most. So again, I ask, do you have water flowing through your tabs? And I say, I'm Access to portable drinking water has become a major issue of contention in recent times, with the Ghana Clean Project reporting more than half of the population in Accra alone does not have access to clean drinking water. That situation, according to experts, is set to worsen with the activities of illegal mining fast making the production of portable water extremely challenging for the Ghana Water Company Limited. According to the company, over 140,000 people in Odasso and Obwasi have been denied access to clean water directly as a result of the activities of illegal small-scale mining. Leadership is what we need to address this issue. Please, 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 we don't need leadership to be a Namibetri Republic or Okodo remove. <laughs> now, if what the waterman is saying is anything to go by, if your taps are coming, just say, water is flowing through your taps. So you don't identify with the concerns of those of us who are from Babylon who are not getting water to bath. Very, very soon, you will also get served. You understand? And when we meet, our discussion will be how we manage to get water to bath on our birthday. Namibia to the Republic. Living legends, party Hesika, Orokodo, <laughs> Now, the Ministry of Sanitation and Water Resources has released a statement. They are saying that the free water, no, it was extended from January to June. So for those of us who consume less than 1,100 gallons a month, no, it is from, yeah, yeah. If you consume 1,100 gallons a month, no, then you are critical consumer. There's some rafubi they use. No. It has been free for us so far. It is from July, no, we'll be paying for the water bill. Just say, the ones we have been paying, you know, including January, no, <laughs> they were coming. I am concerned. Hey, la 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 ukra, I am free for you. Now you bet you are ready. Now the free thing eh, we have to investigate the free, whether it was laboro or it was free of charge. It is an interesting phenomenon. Now let me take you to a very important part of a crime. 
a very important part of the country for that matter. Can they see first light? The people there, they say I should beg Terminator for them. Now they have become more bored to do. They have become more bored to do. Traffic to me, Chia, my uncle, correct me, send a chick of pure, a cancer academy anymore. If you are not paying, you are paying, come, you know. Ya pia kam you know enye kra 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 na nso to kra de enye kra mna ye di down enye na asam beti mi aka se ke ka ko be se nfie ba ko awo kon kon we e bumpo sam na ye da we enye ya kan se amna na me na ne da won she me road mu ne aye chese chese wa na e ba na se kro bi di bola sa abobo ya bola ibi di ehun an se twon wa ha hmm 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 True for God, life for Satan. Can they see first like potholes are living legends? Hey! <laughs> no, it's the kind of pothole that when you fall inside, you go, Shoko, my mama. <laughs> you speak in tones. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not even joking. Can they see pothole? <laughs> first like. <laughs> But uh, Terminator has been saying that he has fixed the rules. So I don't understand why Kanesi first that people you are complaining. What is your problem? Eh? What all this? What all this? We are dying. We are dying. We are dying for Choco. <laughs> no, you know, honestly, Kanesi people. You, you are dying indeed. You are dying in Kanesi first life. But keep quiet and suffer. No, I mean, keep quiet and face yourselves. Pay your taxes. Pay your taxes. <laughs> no, but Terminator, please. Kanesi first life people say they beg. They are really, really begging you. They fist the rules you said you are fisting. It has left them. So you come again and let me see. President Akufuado started fixing rules in Ghana in a very strong manner from 2017. So at times it's ridiculous that you hear somebody saying uh, we are in 2021, fixed rules. You are far behind. You are years and months, months behind. Those people should double up and follow us and know where we are. We have left them behind. When we rules were being fixed from January 2017, we've speed. With speed, but without sacrificing quality. Hey, four or five years old, we should fix roads. You are late. You are far behind. Get up and run and catch up with us. Because we have gone far. All right, no, but you guys, you all need to hear my uncle, right? He's saying that we are fixing the roads. And the people cry, they are eyewitnesses that the Kanishi first lights, you know, the portals, they are being fist. If you like, listen to them. Yeah, yeah, traffic And you the and Benefone found you the slow ma on my and then it's a because I might say a square pass and yeah, boy Square pass boy ma. I chapa, Kwana, I say, Yenna, a Saturday, Megaza, or my pain, my pencil, and a Saturday, a Pim Samuel, you know, Munyanya, two years, and my Eber, Eber Trabay, and my day, my Shimba Juju, Omuyano, your Trabay, and my jat was a co. Obia in any two years, and Penifono. So, I'm running my hand on my Yeah, so I told you that road has been fixed before, and you heard the guy say it, right? Around what time was it first? <laughs> oh, you remember? Okay. But how come suddenly Kanesi first light people are complaining again? Terminator. I'm shocked. But you know, I know you will set them out. So you see the Kanesi first light people. They are complaining about traffic, they are complaining about potholes, and if I can add the rickety, deadly nature of the throttle they use. But Ghanaians, sometimes we talk too much and we think we are the only people who have problems. But our president too, he has worries, you know, especially the presidential debt. So after this break, there is a full-blown comparative analysis, uh, analysis of the president's jet. 
as uh, we will show you that of our neighboring countries, they are presidential debt for you to see something. You think I see people, you alone have problem. I will show you more problem. We need to shower. I saw coming. <laughs> Welcome from the break, no long things. Look at the aircraft of a country like Niger. Niger. They look at Nigeria and Cote d'Ivoire. That you people still want fellow Ghanaians to be moving about in uh, what some have referred to as a Boboya presidential agent. Just look and tell me if it is a normal thing. Just look. The Nigerian president, Mohamedou Buhari, arrived in a Boeing business jet BBJ-737 at the Kotuka International Airport to join his colleagues for the summit. The luxurious aircraft, which seats between 25 to 50 passengers, has a master bedroom, a washroom with a shower, a conference and a dining area, as well as a living room along with the state-of-the-art security equipment for the safety of the president. The aircraft is known as Eagle One and is marked NAF-001. The BBJ-737 is believed to be between 90 to $150 million. The Nigerian Foreign Affairs Minister, Joe Oyama, had earlier arrived in the country for the ministerial session in a Gulfstream VXP, which is part of the fleet of aircraft available to the Nigerian presidency. The Gulfstream is a long-range, large business jet aircraft produced by Gulfstream Aerospace. It flies up to 0 0.885, up to 51,000 feet, and has 6,500 nautical miles, and typically accommodates four crew members and 14 passengers. Next to arrive was the Ivorian president, Alassane Ouattara, on board Airbus 319 presidential jet. The Airbus 319 is a member of the Airbus family of a short to medium range, narrow body, commercial passenger twin engine jet airliner manufactured by Airbus. The presidential jet of Ivy Coast is capable of carrying 124 to 146 passengers on a trip. Next to arrive was the Prime Minister of Niger, Ohamadou Mahamadou, who represented the Nigerian president and came in a Boeing 737-700 presidential jet. According to a Boeing website, the airline provides its user with a superior reliability, fuel efficiency, high-level returns, and high-level security. The presidential jet of Niger can sit between 126 and at most 149 passengers on a trip. Say, Alfred, wow, wow, master bedroom, washroom with shower, shower is in there, conference and dining halls, dining rooms, that's it, <laughs> and all that else, <laughs> living area, <laughs> state of the art security equipment. I love it. But did you see the presidential jet for Niger? Come on, man. Come on. Niger or Niger. Guys, we can't subject fellow Ghanaians to a showerless presidential aircraft. Come on. Come on. Come on. We are bigger than this. We have cocoa. We have diamond. We have gold. What are you telling me? And those of you who are saying, eh, police need bullion vans. NIM, government promised to fix CCTV cameras in police stations. It hasn't done it three years ago. Body comes having been procured as promised. There are no beds in hospitals. And uh, we don't have common defibrator scra. And I, 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 please, 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 please. Think about the safety of the president. By the way, I can hear a voice saying, heaven, hmm? heaven is the only place where there is no crime. Full stop. I have finished that side. <laughs> and now you see, when an MP was shot dead, unfortunately, we gave all MPs police officers. But when a police officer and a civilian were shot dead, um, you know, you know what? Today is my birthday. Now, so throw it, you know, I want to alight here and go and shower. That's all going on. Because uh, a queer movement is organizing a party for me. Is your last now? I don't want any judgment that 170 in, 170 out. She can wash it. And oh, by the way, if I remember correctly, yeah, if I remember correctly. We are no longer going to contract some Goro boys to come and get us a vaccine as, after we have done a super spread of the 19th funeral festival for a loyal friend. That's a good one. You understand? <laughs> I didn't say it too. 